Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW meal prep. Today we are going to be making a breakfast, a lunch. We're gonna make a chocolate chip muffin or cupcake. I'm gonna show you two ways to use this recipe. And then you can see right there that I have the skinniest dish crock pot marinara going. So I'm going to show you that as well. So if you wanna see what is on my list for breakfast, lunch, snacks, and this crock pot marinara, all you have to do is stay tuned. The first thing I'm gonna get started is the skinniest dish crock pot marinara. I like to allow this to cook on low all day. I feel like it really just infuses the flavors a little bit more. So what you're gonna need is your slow cooker and then quite a bit of seasoning. So we've got three cans of the Hunt's crushed tomatoes two cans of petite or diced tomatoes. I actually prefer the petite diced, but I only have the one can. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these Italian recipe diced tomatoes. You're going to need some garlic. And then for spices, you'll need some red chili pepper flakes, some salt, some pepper, some basil, some oregano. And then I'm actually going to be using minced onion rather than dicing up an onion. I like the onion really small in my marinara sauce. So this is everything in the crock pot marinara. And here is the crock pot marinara. So you can see I have salt, pepper, garlic, red pepper flakes, basil, minced onion, oregano. I have my three cans of crushed and two cans of diced. So I'm gonna give this a quick stir and then we are going to put this on low and let this simmer the entire day. This marinara is so good for zero smart points. And there it is all stirred up and ready to go. So I'm gonna pop my lid onto my crock pot. We've got it on low and we're just gonna let this simmer all day. As part of my breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making a chocolate chip protein muffin. I'm so excited to make these. I found this on Louise Lane's YouTube channel. These sound absolutely delicious. Two smart points, that is it. And I'm gonna show you how you can turn this two smart point muffin into a three a smart point cupcake. So here's what is in our chocolate chip muffins. You're going to need a box of the Kodiak Cakes Dark Chocolate Pancake and Waffle Mix. Some sort of sweetener alternative, Stevia, Truvia, whatever you have on hand. One cup of water, one egg, non-fat Greek yogurt, and vanilla extract. So let's get started. To make our chocolate chip protein muffins, super easy. I have here two cups of the dark chocolate Kodiak cake. I don't know if you can see in there, but it even has little chocolate pieces. Yum. So we're first gonna go ahead and put in our chocolate mix. To that, we are going to add one cup of water. And everything just gets mixed into one bowl, so it makes it extremely easy. We are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extracts. And then I have one half of a tablespoon of Truvia. And I have one egg that I've just pre-cracked to avoid any shells. And then the recipe calls for one small container of Fa'e yogurt. I only have the big container, so I just measured out six ounces on my food scale. And then I'm just gonna use my spatula here to get all of that yogurt into my recipe and then we are just going to give this a nice stir until all of our ingredients are combined and then we will get ready to put these into our muffin cups but super easy i do have a little added something something i'm going to add to the muffins once we get them into the muffin tin but you just want to make sure that you get this nice and combined and all of those ingredients fully incorporated once all of your mix is nice and incorporated, I did go ahead and spray my muffin tin with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we are just going to scoop in some of our muffin mix. And we just wanna make sure that we have enough to fill all 12 muffins. So I usually start with kind of a good size scoop and then I will go back and add additional mix if I do have enough to go back and just add a little more to each of my muffin cups. But just make sure that you are getting 12 full muffin cups. Mm -hmm. 
once you have your muffins nice and full, I decided to go ahead and add some of these Lily's dark chocolate chips. You can have 60 of these chips for two smart points. So my plan is, is to put five chips on the top of each of our muffins, which would then add an additional zero points to our recipe. So I am just going to plunk five chips on top just for that little bit extra yumminess on top of our muffin. And then we will be ready to get these into the oven. But these look so good. How decadent for two smart points. Our chocolate muffins are ready to go into the oven. So we're gonna put these in at 350 until we can insert a toothpick and they come out clean. The chocolate muffins are out of the oven. Look at how good these look. I'm going to let them fully cool. Then I'll pop them out and show you the size. These are good size muffins for two smart points. And then I'm gonna show you how you can even create a sweet treat with our muffins. All right, our chocolate muffins are nice and cooled. So these, as they sit, are two smart points. The size of these is pretty darn good. They actually rose a lot better in the oven than I thought that they would. So if you wanna have a sweet treat as part of your breakfast like I'm going to do, these muffins, again, are only two smart points. Now, if you wanna turn this into a dessert, you can add some of the sugar-free frosting. So I have both the vanilla and the chocolate. It is two tablespoons for 100 calories. I usually will just do one tablespoon or 15 grams, and then that would be an additional two smart points. So you can add a little bit of frosting and make this into a sweet treat. So I will do that and show you what 15 grams of frosting looks like and how you can make a cupcake. All right, so you can actually have one and a half tablespoons of this frosting for two smart points. If you wanna do a full two tablespoons, it would be three smart points. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one and a half tablespoons or about 22 grams of the frosting onto my muffin here. And then we have ourselves a chocolate and chocolate cupcake. All right, so I'm just gonna take my frosting here and I'm just going to add it to my muffin until I have about 22 grams. And then we can spread that out nice and even. All right, so there's 22 grams of the frosting. That's actually a lot. You could probably even do three quarters or half a tablespoon and knock that down to one smart point. But you can indulge in a cupcake, a legit chocolate chip cupcake with chocolate or vanilla frosting for four smart points. This right here is why I love WW. Along with my chocolate muffins, I'm going to be having some hash brown egg cups as another part of my breakfast, as well as some turkey bacon, which I will show you uh, once I compile the meal prep. So here is what is in the hash brown breakfast cups. You're going to need some shredded hash browns, some spinach, some eggs, any type of meat, ham, turkey bacon, bacon, turkey sausage. I'm gonna go ahead and go with some turkey sausage salt and pepper, light butter, some sort of light or fat-free cheese, a pepper, green, red, yellow, orange, whatever you prefer, and an onion. So let's get started on this breakfast. So the first thing that I have here is 450 grams of thawed hash browns. You do want to make sure that you're measuring your hash browns frozen, but then you allow them to thaw out. And I have two egg whites, and to my egg whites, I'm just going to whisk those together just really quickly before we add those to our hash browns. So we'll get those nice and whisked together. And then we're going to add those to the hash brown mixture. And then we're also going to go ahead and add in some salt and pepper. And then we're going to give our hash brown mixture a nice stir before these go into our cups to bake. So make sure that you get those egg whites nice and incorporated into your shredded up hash browns. And then these will get baked first before we add the rest of our ingredients. 
once you get the egg mixed in well with your hash browns, you are going to take about a tablespoon of light butter, and we're also going to mix this into our hash browns as well before this goes into our muffin cup. So looks really, really delicious. Once you have the butter and eggs mixed in with your hash browns, you are going to take a greased muffin tin. I'm gonna go ahead and use this brownie tin. And you're going to make a little nest of your hash browns. And the recipe calls for six, but I think that I might divvy it out um, and make even more just for the sake of the points. But you wanna add a little bit of hash brown, push down and even pull it up a little bit on the side because you're gonna be adding some egg to that as well and the rest of your ingredients. So you wanna go ahead and make yourself a little hash brown nest. Once you've pressed your hash browns nice and firm down into your muffin cups, these are going to go in the oven at 475 degrees for about 15 minutes or until the hash browns do cook a little bit and become just a little bit crispy. And while these are in the oven, we're going to get our pepper and our onion and our spinach chopped up and ready to add next. While those hash brown cups are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up about two cups of spinach, just a rough chop and put that here on a paper plate. And then I'm also going to chop up about a half a cup of both the onion and the pepper. And then that will also go on a plate. And then we'll be ready to get these on the stove next. Next, we're gonna melt one tablespoon of light butter in a saute pan. Once that is melted, we are gonna go ahead and add in our onions and our yellow peppers. Let those cook just a couple of minutes. Then we will add in our chopped spinach until it is wilted and throw in that turkey sausage just to warm it up. And then this is the next layer in our hash brown breakfast cups. Once your butter is melted down, we're gonna go ahead and add in our chopped up onion and yellow pepper. And then we're just gonna add just a little bit of pepper and just a little bit of salt to this. And we're gonna let this cook down for just a few minutes. Once your peppers and onions have cooked down, we are gonna go ahead and add in that chopped spinach. And then we're also gonna go ahead and add in our turkey sausage. Even though it is pre-cooked, we do wanna go ahead and warm it up and let it wilt down with the spinach, the peppers, and the onions. And that was one cup total of the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. Once your spinach has wilted down and the rest of your vegetables have cooked thoroughly through, you wanna go ahead and remove that from the heat. I did just pull my hash browns out of the oven as well. And I went ahead and measured out two ounces of the Trader Joe's light mozzarella cheese. So the next step is we are going to take our sausage and vegetable mixture and that is going to be the next layer. And we're just going to add that to the top of the hash browns. And you definitely wanna kinda of give that a push down only because we still have an egg to add to this. So we wanna make sure that there's definitely room um, to go ahead and add that egg. So you may even wanna take your spoon and kinda of push down your hash browns before you add in your sausage and vegetable mixture. And we're just gonna make sure that we fill all nine of our cups with our mixture. And then we'll add a little bit of cheese on top before these go back into the oven. Once you've added the sausage and vegetable mixture, we're then gonna go ahead and evenly sprinkle on our two ounces of Trader Joe's 
cheese and then this is going to go back into the oven um just for about five minutes or so just until the cheese is melted and then when we pull it out again we will be adding to it an egg and then that will complete our bre breakfast but this looks so good i'm so excited to have these what a rich hearty breakfast to pair nicely with the sweetness of those chocolate chip Kodiak muffins. So by the way, which are amazing. So there we have it. We're going to get this back into the oven just to get this cheese melted up. Once your cheese is nice and melted, the final step is we are going to pop an egg onto each of the top of each of our little nests and then they will go back into the oven to then finish cooking the egg and then you have your delicious egg cup. Look at how good these are going to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and top each one of these little muffin cups here with an egg, and then we'll throw that back into the oven just until our white is cooked and our yolk is still on the runny side. Or if you want, you can always crack your yolk and do kind of over hard, whatever your preference is. And then I will show you the completed meal prep. I just pulled the hash brown egg cups out of the oven. Look at how amazing these look. So delicious. I'm gonna let these cool for just a couple of minutes and then I'll pop these out, put them into my meal prep container and then I can show you what the completed meal prep as well as what these hash brown egg cups look like. I also wanna point out, this is a less expensive egg yolk. That is a happy egg. Look at the difference in color, the orange, amazing. So here is what those hash brown muffin cups look like coming out. You can see the different layers of the hash browns, the veggies and sausage, and then it's topped with a delicious egg. Yum. So this is my meal prep. So here I have one of my chocolate chip protein muffins that I made with the Kodiak cake. This is a total of two smart points. I have one of my hash brown breakfast cups and I'm counting that as two smart points as well. It may actually be less, but I'm gonna go ahead and err on the side of caution and count it as two. And then I have one slice of the Sam's Choice uncured turkey bacon. I just throw this in the microwave for about three minutes per slice and it comes out perfectly. And that is a total of one smart point. So this is a five smart point breakfast prep. So there are my breakfasts for the entire week. I am so incredibly excited to have these. What a delicious, filling, satisfying, because you even get a little bit of a sweet treat, breakfast prep. For lunches this week, I am making roasted chicken sausage, potatoes, and veggies. I am so excited to have this for lunch this week. I'm gonna pair this with a side salad as well to really up my vegetable game once again. So here is everything that is in this lunch. It is super easy. It's a sheet pan recipe, filling, delicious, like super, super delicious. So here is what is in our sheet pan, chicken sausage, potatoes, and veggies. You're going to need some sort of chicken sausage. I really, really like this Sam's Choice chicken apple sausage. It's one of my favorites. You're also going to need one pound of potatoes. I like these multicolored potatoes. I think it makes your dish pleasant to look at. And I also feel like they have a little bit of flavor difference. So I grabbed the petite medley. I have an onion, a red pepper, a green pepper. I'm gonna chop those up into bigger chunks and roast those. And then you're going to need some minced garlic, some salt, Italian seasoning, red pepper flakes, these are optional, black pepper, and then some sort of olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Pam cooking spray so I don't have to count any additional points. We're literally just gonna spritz the top before it goes into the oven. So let's get started on our lunches for the week. The first thing we need to do is chop our little hearts out. So I need to go ahead and cut up my onion, my two peppers, my chicken sausage, and my potatoes. I did go ahead and get my sheet tray ready. I just put one of the silicone liners down and then also sprayed it with just a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. That way when I cut up the vegetables, I can immediately put them onto the sheet tray. So let's get everything cut up, put on the sheet tray, and we will be good to go.
decided to go ahead and cook my vegetables separately from my potatoes and sausage. So I have my vegetables, my onions all cut up. I'm gonna go ahead and add all my seasonings here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with just a little bit of minced garlic. I'm basically just going to take that and just kind of sprinkle it on top of my vegetables just a little bit just to help kind of add a little bit of flavor to the roasted vegetables and i'm going to do the same thing with the chicken sausage and the potatoes so i've added that little bit of garlic and then from there i'm going to go ahead and add my pam cooking spray and i'm just going to give my vegetables just a nice spray with the pam spray and again this pam is zero smart points so that's just gonna help get them nice and browned. And then I'm going to add some Italian seasoning to the veggies. And again, I think just dividing the veggies from the chicken and the potatoes when you're making an entire week's worth makes sense so that they cook a little bit more evenly and they're a nice one layer on your pan. And then from here, I am gonna go ahead and add a little bit of red pepper flakes. Not a lot, you know I don't really like very much spice in my food, but just for that little bit of flavor. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt, and I'm gonna do the pink Himalayan sea salt, which is my new favorite thing. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of black pepper to the top of my veggies. So now these are ready to go into the oven, so we're gonna grab another sheet pan and we'll cut up our potatoes and our chicken sausage. So I went ahead and grabbed another sheet tray, added another liner, sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray, and then we are ready to chop up our chicken sausages and our potatoes. Tip on the chicken sausages, make sure that you cut each link into an even number of pieces so that you know how many pieces to put in your meal prep container so you're not overdoing the point. So I'm gonna cut these into 10 slices. So when I put these in the meal prep container, I'll make sure that I am adding 10 slices of sausage per container. That way all of the points remain the same in all of my lunches for the week. So let's chop these babies up and get them on the sheet pan. So first I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing where I kind of sprinkle the garlic over the top of my sausage and my potatoes, just enough to give it just that little bit of garlic flavor. And then we will add in the rest of our spices. Once I finish with the garlic, I'm again going to take my Pam cooking spray and go ahead and just dose the top of my sausage and potatoes with a little bit of the olive oil spray. And then we're gonna do the same thing again where we're adding our spices. So a little bit of the red chili pepper flakes. Now, if you like your food a little spicier, um, I think that adding you know double or triple what I added would really pump up the spice. And then I'm gonna add in some of my Italian seasoning, which is again gonna give it that really good uh, flavor. And then we'll do our pink Himalayan sea salt over the top. And then lastly, we'll go ahead and add some black pepper as well. And then these are ready to go into the oven at 400 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. I am gonna go ahead and put in the veggies first. And then after they're cooked, I'll go ahead and add in our sausage and our potatoes. And I'll be back with the magic of YouTube to show you the finished product. For my salads, for my lunches, I went ahead and grabbed my big three compartment meal prep container. I'm gonna fill these two with the sausage, peppers, onions, potatoes, and then this big compartment is going to be for my salad. So I'm gonna be doing a mix of the Organic Girl Super Spinach along with the Organic Girl Protein Greens. And then I have some broccoli, some chopped up yellow pepper, and some mushrooms. So basically, I'm just going to put a little bit of each of the different lettuces into the bigger compartment. A little spinach and a little bit of these protein greens, which by the way are really, really good. And then I'm gonna top that with just a couple little pieces of peppers, 
a couple little sprigs of broccoli. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of mushroom. And I just kind of will break that up over the salad mix. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Skinny Kitchen Ranch. And I will put those into little containers measured out on my food scale next. So basically that's what I'm going to do is just make several little salads for the week in the big portion of my meal prep container. I just pulled the roasted veggies out of the oven. Look at how delicious these look. I will give you a tip midway through, just give them a quick stir. That's why this kind of looks like a hot mess, but just give them a quick stir so that they can really brown and cook on all sides. You want them to have that nice brown look to them. So I'm gonna let these cool. I have the sausage and potatoes in the oven now, and then we'll assemble all of the meal preps. My chicken sausage and potatoes are out of the oven. Oh my, oh my, does this look absolutely delicious. I'm going to let this cool for about 10 minutes and then we will put these along with the vegetables into our meal prep containers and I will show you what my completed lunch looks like. So let's get these meal preps put together. You can see here that I've done my salad and I've added my Skinny Kitchen Ranch. So my salad is a total of one smart point. Now I'm gonna add in some of the potatoes and sausage. I want 10 sausages per meal prep. So I'm gonna make sure that I am counting those. And I'm also going to be watching the number of potatoes that I'm putting in as well because I do want to make sure that I'm not overdoing it. So there's five sausages and we're just going to have to kind of pick through to make sure that our sausages are even. It's a little bit of a pain, but we want to make sure our points are right. So there's seven, eight, nine, and ten sausages. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add just a couple more potatoes and then I'll go ahead and finish off with my vegetables. So I've got those as well and I'm going to just add a few of those to the other compartment. We just want to make sure that we have enough for all five days of our vegetables as well, even though they are zero points. So this is what our completed meal prep is going to look like. So we have our salad with the dressing for one smart point. I have my chicken sausage for two smart points, my potatoes for two smart points, and then I also have my veggies. So this meal prep is a total of five smart points. Not bad for lunch. So let me get the rest of my containers filled up and then I will add my fruit and my dessert and I'll show you what my completed lunch is going to look like for the week. So here are my completed lunches for the week. I have added everything to my meal prep containers. So let me show you what a complete lunch is going to look like. So first I'm going to have my meal prepped salad for one smart point, my sausage and potatoes for a total of four with some vegetables. And then I'm going to pair that with a fruit. So I have a couple Kara Kara oranges left. And then I purchased these moon grapes. These are really, really good. Little pricey if you saw my grocery haul, but really good. So I'm gonna have a fruit. And then for dessert, I'm going to have one of my Detour Lean Muscle Bites in either M&M or cookie dough. These are from vitaminshop.com. These are two smart points. So my entire lunch is going to be seven smart points and that includes a little bit of dessert. For one of my snacks this week, I've went ahead and diced up five stalks of celery. I am going to put those in a little Ziploc bag with one wet of the Laughing Cow cheese and I'm just going to spread that on each slice of celery. I'm so excited. So let's get this snack put together and I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna plan to bring for my snacks throughout the week. This is just going to be one of them, which I am, of course, very excited about. I will be topping it with a little bit of the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Seasoning. Sad thing, I have a container just for work. So here are my snacks for the week. There is my celery with the Laughing Cow cheese. I'm also going to bring light and fit Greek yogurt. And then I'm going to bring some of these WW mac and cheese potato sticks just to have on hand for a crunchy treat. Two points, two points, one point. Again, I don't eat all of these snacks every day, but I like to just have options while I am at work. So these are going to be all of the snacks that I'm bringing for this next work week. Thank you for joining me on another WW Weekly Meal Prep. I hope that you enjoyed all of the recipes that I showed for you today. They will all be linked down in the description box below, as well as any discount codes that I have, as well as my P.O. box. 
A lot of you have been asking for my PO box information. It is always, always linked in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a warm welcome. Please make sure that you subscribe and that you hit that notification bell so that YouTube notifies you every time I upload a new video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what's on your menu for the week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.